Good morning and welcome to a new vlog. It is Monday, the start of a new week and what a week it has been last week and over the weekend. Madison is in horrendous form. Let's go turn this down. She's asleep at the minute. Um, she's in horrendous form and it's so tough at the minute. She's just, well I feel like she's hit a new developmental stage or like a growth spurt or something because she is so like grouchy and she just I mean she's still sleeping good at night but she is just not going down for her naps easily she is moaning all the time she's trying to crawl but can't crawl she wants to be on the move but she she can't unless we do it with her and then she's frustrated because like I can't walk with her 24 7 <laughs> around the house um, like I have things to do as well and like even if I'm making lunch she's just moaning she just wants to be on the move so it's just been very draining very tough so I'm praying that she learns to crawl soon because it's horrendous so I was doing a pile of googling last night I was like is this normal is she supposed to be moaning 24 7 like what's going on is it teeth is she hungry what is it um but I mean she's getting plenty of food so it's not it's not that I knew it wasn't that teething could have been that probably is a wee bit of that but um a lot of people said that they go through this developmental stage and it's normally before like a milestone or before something happens so um at her age it is most likely crawling um funny she's been moaning and then all of a sudden she started blowing raspberry so again that was another wee developmental stage that she's hit but I, f I feel like it's moving it's crawling she needs to learn how to crawl but jeepers oh it is draining like I got her up this morning she well she got up at half seven and she came downstairs she went her walkie she was fine she's in good form she had her breakfast good form the second breakfast was over moaned and moaned and moaned until nine basically until she went to sleep and even going to sleep she fought it and moaned it's it's tough like it is tough at the minute but I just have to keep working with her and hope that she'll learn to move but yeah it's just very draining so whenever she sleeps all I want to do is just rest just relax I don't want to do any housework I don't want to do anything also the days are a lot longer because you're trying to fill the time between naps also she's I feel like she's dropping a nap and um, she's trying to go longer between her naps so she's dropping her like it used to be every two hours so she's dropping one of them so now she's kind of going from a morning nap to like an afternoon nap and then she doesn't want to do another one like yesterday she was due another one at like five-ish and she would not go down um, and I mean she's wrecked but she wouldn't go down so then she held off until bedtime and then she was just really crabby and oh it's hard it is flipping hard but anyway we're going to get out of the house today because it's hard to sit in and try to entertain her at the minute so we're gonna go into the town and do a few messages and she's actually going to mum's tomorrow so I'm hoping that she'll be okay at mum's but I feel she will be it'll be a change of scenery a change of environment um but yeah we're gonna go into the town I'm gonna buy some new makeup I think and I want to go and get her I'm gonna look at B&M to see can I get her a couple of wee toys um, granny her granny has a ball at her house and she loves it so I'm gonna get her a ball if I can like a big softball and then a couple of books she likes books that play music so I'm gonna see if I can get her some of those and then we'll go from there so I'm just waiting until she gets up and then I'll give her some lunch and then we'll head so today for lunch she's going to get a I'm gonna do bread with peanut butter and banana and then I'm gonna roll it dip it in egg and then put it in the pan so hopefully she'll like that but I'm sure she will because she loves all them things so yeah she's been asleep now for an hour so she'll maybe do an hour and a half snooze and then get up Madison finished her we uh, roll ups they're called with their banana and peanut butter she had one food one and then most of the other one and she had her wee yogurt and now she's having some grapes you want to see here take a grape good girl and then we're gonna go into the town Aren't we? Put it in, put it in, <laughs> we are. Hey. There you are. Hey, Zappy, baby. Can you say that? You wave. You say hello. Bye, bye. Good job. 
<laughs> no, you just have the phone. I'm just back from the town. I've just put Madison down for a snooze. She's still awake, but she's going over. Um, so hopefully she'll be over pretty soon. Um, she done longer between the first nap and this nap, which is what I thought that she's looking to do. Um, so she done three hours between first nap and second nap. First hour, yeah, first, she woke up at half ten, and I started putting her down at half one, and it's now one thirty seven. But she took a wee bit of a bottle up there, so um. It's really over three hours before she's going back to sleep, so I'm interested to see how long she sleeps for now. Hopefully she will sleep for a good two hours, hour and a half, two hours. Here's hoping I might need to take the house again because we have laundry to put away. And we were flat out all weekend um, and I didn't get doing the normal things that we do over the weekend. I really need to do my nails again, they're awful. Anyway, just back in the town and I picked up a couple of things. I picked Madison up more Bonjella for Teevan. Um, I normally put a wee bit of this on her dummy just before she goes to sleep. And she actually loves the taste of it. <laughs> so, got her that. Um, although I normally give her Calpol or something if her teeth are really bad, rather than Bonjella, because I don't know if it really works. But anyway. Um, then for myself, I picked up the Nivea Soft Moisturising Cream for face, body and hands. I use this as a daily moisturiser. So I have, at the minute I'm using the Nivea, the night one, but it's just quite thick for like morning time during the day. So I picked up this one. And then I picked up this to try. This is a new foundation. This is the one I wanted to try, although it's so hard now in Chemist because you can't actually try the colour out but I went for light which was two to three light there was a lighter one than this um, but it was very white looking but this is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum and um, I wanted just something a wee bit lighter on my skin my skin has been so dry lately I don't know what is up with it um, but even this I feel like is quite dark I don't know, I might be between shades at the moment, but if I wear like tan or something that might be alright. I don't know, I need to try it and see. And then I picked up boring things, I picked up Command Velvet or Velcro strips. She's still flipping, like she flips from one side to the other, <laughs> like very dramatically, one side to the other. Um, I have things from Alice's room to put up and we use them for her name. So I bought wee flowers to go around her name, so I'm going to use those just to put that as well. Then I picked up two of my favourite curry. This is the curry I will only ever use. This is the Mayflower medium curry. Uh, sometimes they're hard to pick up, so I picked two of them. And I also picked up the gravy, which is also amazing. Me and Paul one night made um, like loaded fries with this. So you, you have french fries. You put in cocktail sausages, um, popcorn chicken, stuffing. Is that everything? Yeah, stuffing and then this gravy. Oh my goodness. And it's just, it's it's loaded fries. It's lovely. So I got more of that. And that is, oh, and I got Madison um, a wee set of balls um, in the time as well. But I actually want to think, I, I want to go on eBay and order a beach ball. Because she loves a big massive ball that's at mum's, but I don't know where she got that. Um, so a beach ball would be good because it's nice and light. Um, also a delivery came for me. I ordered myself another pair of jeans. As if I need any more jeans, like, honestly. But I ordered a pair of black jeans and I'm hoping they'll fit. I get so frustrated when they don't. But these are black ripped knee straight leg jeans. Um, and they were on sale for a really reasonable price so they're just black boring but I got them in a 10 um, to see because I'm still sort of between sizes some jeans I have are an 8 and they are absolutely perfect some jeans I'm definitely a 10 oh here's another package hold on okay it was the rug for Madison's bedroom and um, for some reason they didn't come with the shelves both from Janelle don't know why but anyway I'm gonna open this out and then I can put it in her room when she wakes up also needed to get her curtains today forgot to measure the window so I'll get her wee curtains tomorrow when I'm in the town again 
Uh, oh, did I say I got a rebel? I don't know if I did, but I got a rebel. This mama needs a rebel. With this wee tinker, honestly. But she's so, like, I, she's just, she's so draining and so tiring. And then she's so funny at the same time and so lovable and so cute at the same time. So then you're cross, but you're also like, she's just so cute and she's just a little baby and she's just learning. And then she goes to sleep and she wakes up the most adorable little thing until she gets grouchy again. And oh my goodness, it's just, she's just so freaking cute, but freaking hard work, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, but both naps today have been really good. I literally just put her up in the cot, walked away. And she fell asleep by herself, which is ideal. And she's doing that in the middle of the night because I heard her up last night in the middle of the night and she settled herself. She found her dummy and put it in and settled herself. And same the night before because I was ready to go in and then she didn't. So she's been doing good. Um, She woke up last night at, or she woke up this morning at five. Yeah, five. And got the dummy herself and went back to sleep. So that's good. And then she woke up at half seven for the day yeah half seven so she's doing really well that way but yes oh no it has just started heel sewing and i'm pretty sure it will come on because she as soon as it started she stirred um her white noise on but the heel sewing's like pelt her window because it comes that direction and it's really loud oh no don't waken she's like stirring but i'm hoping that she'll go back to sleep Ugh. So that's her little rug. It needs flattened out. How pretty. That'll go nice in her room. And then hopefully I'll get new curtains in a pinky colour, I think. Cute! Okay, got my jeans on. I love them. They're so nice. And now I need to get out of them and put on something comfortable to tidy this house. Someone's up. Look at her, like she basically is grown. Like she can definitely do more in the cot than she does on the carpet. She should be enjoying that cot like nobody's business. <laughs> also, she was in here, was it yesterday? Last night. And I didn't know she'd woke up and then she started to like shout and give off. And while she was shouting and giving off, she went, mum, mum, mum. <laughs> so I'm taking that as she said, mama. Because every day I'm like, mum, 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 trying to talk to her. And she definitely done it whenever she was shouting. And she hasn't done it before, so hopefully she'll be saying, mum, mum, ma, very soon. Oh, good girl. There's our little rug. What do you think about us in? Do you like it? It's so pretty. Good girl. Good girl. Go on. Come on. I'm out of breath because I ran up the stairs. <laughs> Mummy's out of breath. And does this funny thing that she, whenever she thinks she can't see you, that we can't see her. <gasps> Where's Madison? There she is! <laughs> Where's Madison? There she is! Where's Madison? There she is! <laughs> she like hides her head and she thinks she can't see her. Where's Madison? Hey! Come on! Come on! Come on! Madison's just getting her dinner. She's having spaghetti. Look at that spaghetti mouth. Are you in a trance? She loves her spaghetti. And her wee water. Spaghetti will just wreck it completely, won't it? Hello. Good girl. Here you go. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Here's some girl. Yeah. 
I'm going to go out for a little walk. She's in her wee trick. How adorable. And we've got our matching hats on. Yay. <laughs> Let's go. We've just come in from our little um, trike ride. We're going from this time. We're listening to, is this Cocomel? Something similar anyway. And she's just had a kiwi. And she's having some wee crisps. Sorry, veggie sticks. Okay, Madison was just stern, but um, she's been asleep now for about an hour. So um, it was really funny. I was away this morning, and Madison's a baby who typically doesn't really fall asleep doing things. Or like Mum would have said, when we 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 would have fell asleep if we were like playing on the mat on the ground, or would have fell asleep on the stairs, or just like in really random positions. Madison's not a baby that does that. She doesn't fall asleep unless she's in her cot really, or I suppose in the car. But um, I had a pop out this morning. Well, I wanted to pop out this morning. Um, and then whenever I had, obviously because I was out, I kept her up and she was due her nap so she was very tired but she wasn't ratty or anything she was in really good form but she was playing with her wee toy and then she fell asleep playing with her toy which is so funny she never never would do that my hair looks so light today why does my hair look so light anyway um she literally her eyes were like bobbing and then i was like stay awake stay awake because i was still in the car and i was like stay awake but she was playing with her wee toy and she was literally spinning the toy and her eyes were closed now she was spinning it <laughs> But I was like, stay awake, stay awake, and like squishing her wee cheeks, and she was like, <laughs> like smiling, and it was so cute. But anyway, um, I went to a charity shop this morning because one of the charity shops near me was having like a pound sale, so everything in the charity shop was a pound, and so it wouldn't matter what you picked up, like you could have picked up, like like my sister, my sister picked up like a walkie, she picked up a jumperoo for a pound, which is insane, and especially with baby stuff because. They're only in it for a short period of time. Like we got our jumpery and Madison, like I would say she's done with it about now. Um, and those jumperoos, I I got mine secondhand, but those jumperoos to buy are like seventy five pounds. So there's no point for the short amount of time that they're going to be in it. So to get it for a pound is fantastic because she can use it and then pass it on. But anyway, I went um to see was there things from Madison. They on their Facebook page they put up a few things that they were having in their charity shop. Um, so I had I had seen a couple of things that I wanted and um, one of them being this little table actually um, Can you see it? It's just a little like activity table and um, we go to a wee class sometimes and They have one of these at the class and Madison loves it and um, because she can stand at it and uh, Obviously it plays Like it plays songs and it's just really cute so that was a pound which is insane so i took it home i've got a wee clean um and it looks as good as new the only thing that i think is missing is a wee phone but she has a wee mobile phone um because there's like a wee section that can ring so i'll turn it off um i'll just put her wee phone in that and it should be fine but it's great i'm really pleased with that the other thing that i wanted to get was one of these for her nursery um, I had seen this on their Facebook page as well. They had a few of these actually, so I picked up this one. This was slightly bigger, um, but I wanted one for her nursery. Um, she's probably still a wee bit wee for it, but I just think these are really cute because whenever I was growing up, those are the type of things that you used to find in every like dentist, doctors, like they had these, and we loved them. I loved getting to play with them, so I'm really pleased that I picked up one of those. Oh, there's still a wee mark on it. Um, I just was cleaning at these. I used a wee bit of Milton disinfectant, but um, they're honestly as good as new. So, really pleased with that. I actually seen where someone had put them on the wall, like sideways on the wall, which is really cool, but I'll, I'll probably not. Um, but it's really cute. And then I also picked up this because she noticed this in the Charlie shop and loved it. And this is what she's playing with on the way home in the car. She loves this wee one. Um, but it just like... Okay, sorry. It was two parcels for Paul. I'm waiting on two things coming as well, but... It's for him. But anyway, I thought this was really cute as well. And she likes it. But you push down, it spins. And it also plays like music and kinds and all that jazz. 
So whenever we came back, she went straight down for a nap. I managed to keep her awake until we got home. So she will no doubt play with them whenever she gets up. So we'll see if she likes them. But yeah, it was a successful little trip. I just come back from Tesco's and I just thought I'd show you what I picked up. Um, also, just excuse us. <laughs> Madison was hysterically crying and uh, that's her tears <laughs> and her slappers. <laughs> but I just put her down for a snooze. Um, so she is falling asleep at the minute. But anyway, I thought I'd show you what I got. Um, I just picked up some more grapes. Madison absolutely loves grapes. I could eat grapes at all times. Also, it's really, really sunny today. So um, I just closed the blinds, but the sun's still coming in a wee bit. Um, she loves grapes. That's her go-to snack. Um, I bought this before in Asda, and these are seedless red grapes. Seedless red grapes, but every single one has seeds in them. <laughs> so that was annoying. But I just picked up another pack because um, she's nearly finished these ones, or she will be finished these ones for sure. Um, then I picked up some spinach. Um, I picked up ground almonds. Um, I wanted to do her like a wee smoothie. And I needed ground almonds after that. Um, picked up some of the little wafers again, handy little snack for her. Avocado, a smoothie. Picked up more of her custards. This is the fruity banana. Um, apple and strawberry puree, apple and mango puree, and apple and blueberry puree. These are just really good to throw a wee bit into her porridge, just for a bit of flavour. Or this morning she actually had wheat bix. Um, but I like to put in a wee bit of flavour for it because it's quite bland. And then potatoes because I'm going to make more potato leg soup. And then I also got, which I've already put in the freezer, ice cream, frozen mushrooms and frozen peppers. Just because the, they're in the car for like 30 minutes and I'm pretty sure they're defrosted. So I threw it into the freezer really quickly. And then also in Tesco I got Madison this cute little outfit. Which is adorable. I got this in 12 to 18. Um, she's 9 to 12 but Tesco is kind of small fitting so I figured this would probably be okay for her at the minute but it's really nice and it comes with the bodysuit which I like stripy bodysuit and we needed tights so that's pretty it was down to £6 well actually I think it was um, yeah it was £6 down from 15 and then I bought my some two pairs of shoes she has these shoes already but um, I just picked up the next size because uh, they're getting tight on her. So they're just no pink ones, these are from Next, these aren't from Tesco's. And they were I think six pounds or eight pounds. And then six pounds I think they were. And then I picked her up the wee white ones as well, the little rainbows, also six pounds. And these are both in 12 to 18 months. Madison has really like deep feet, <laughs> like really fat feet. Um, so we velcro shoes are perfect for her because I can like adjust them easily whereas we laces are harder to get on her feet but it said she has these but she's just getting a wee bit too big for them so cute these are the pre-walker shoes as well so they're like still quite soft not that structured but sure like her wee socks and everything is ruined and if we're outside she wants down and I can't really set her down you know Oh, also I picked up eggs and bread, I'm just seeing it on the table. <laughs> eggs and bread. So, that was all I got. And I need to tidy this kitchen now because I haven't tidied it. It's been an absolute mess. Great. Hello, ye. You're back. <laughs> you bet. Is that? Is that? Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you went in the river? Throw her in. Throw her in. Throw her in the river. <laughs> Don't say that, Dada. No. <laughs> Where are you going? Madison. Um, she honestly is just growing up so quickly and growing out of her clothes so quickly and she's currently in six to no she's currently in nine to twelve months um, and even then some of them are tight enough it just depends where you get them from but I had done a bit of shopping and got her some bigger bits um, and also some summer things because she's no like summer clothes, no t-shirts, shorts, dresses, that kind of thing. Um, and then I also just picked her up some bigger just everyday wear clothes as well. But I have a lot of clothes to show you but um, I got her right out of wardrobe. She's at her granny's so I got her right out of wardrobe and throw out the stuff that doesn't fit her anymore and sort out her wardrobe properly. But anyway, I'm going to start off with the Primark stuff. Um, as I said, a lot of it is like bigger sizing. But Madison is big, like she is definitely on the bigger side of her 9 to 12, like I would say she's she's pretty much like fitting like an 11 month old and she's only 10 months old. But I got these cute little dresses, there's a set of two dresses for £4.50, um, a little floral one and a pink one, they are so cute and I got them in 12 to 18 months. Um, Honestly, that looks a bit better now, but I thought it was really cute, just handy to have if we get some nicer weather, which we did have really nice um, weather there, and I was trying to hook out like a short sleeve t-shirt, but she only had like two, so I'm glad I've got wee dresses and tops and things now. I got her this little play suit, which is little shorts, and I got this in 12 to 18 as well, which is six pounds. I love it. It's white lace. Um, I thought that would be really cute. This little set in 12 to 18. I like that it comes with wee trousers, um, but I like the little top that goes with it. 12 to 18 months and eight pounds for this little set. And it's just like little jeggings, wee stretchy jeans. I got her a pack of bibs because she's always um, using bibs. A little t-shirt, one pound 30 for a little t-shirt. And I got the t-shirt in 18 to 24 months because the other size looked totally so again, if that's a bit bigger, it'd be fine, just over leggings. This in 12 to 18 months. Oh, how did it go? Um, it's a little t-shirt and little shorts, which are so cute. This is five pounds for the set, which I just think is lovely. Um, I also picked up a coat just because this was absolutely beautiful. Love this. And I got it in 12 to 18 months. The coat was, how much was the coat? 12 pounds. But it's really nice and it's a wee raincoat. Um, little play suit. I think I got this bigger, 18 to 24 months. Um, just because things like this across her belly can be quite tight. So I got it bigger, three pounds for this. I absolutely love this little set and I got this in 12 to 18 months. It's a little jumper and short set. I love this. This was six pounds for the set really cute print. A little sun hat. These were impossible to find and even in Primark I had to get, I think this is a two to three year old, but um, you can put it at the back. But there was like no baby hats at all. A little cardigan just for over dresses and leggings, £4.50. A little pink one and um, it's really cute and really soft. And then I just got a set of tops just to wear now, long sleeve tops. Um, I got these in 18 to 24 because again they looked so tiny 
um, seven pounds for a pack of three. And she's loads of wee leggings that she can pair that with. This, which I absolutely adore, this little dress, which was three pounds fifty. Um, a pack of vests in the next size. This is nine to twelve months. Um, she is in nine to twelve months now. And I only had one pack of this, so I'm, I needed to get more, so I got a big pack of those. This is a pack of seven. Yeah, seven. Um, and then, last thing from Primark, I just picked her up these little sets, which is just a t-shirt and short set. Now, these are literally £1.30 each, so £2.60 for a little set, which is so good. So I got her the purple polka dot, and then I got her a little pink ribbed one as well. She's so adorable. Um, and then I went to Poundland oops, and got her a couple of bits. I got her this little set and um, I got these 12 to 18 as well. So it's just a little like jumper dress and wee leggings. This is a Bambi set so it's really cute and a wee set for £6.50. Cute. Um, and then I got her, got her this little tracksuit as well. It's so cute. It's also, is this also Bambi? Yes. And this was six pound fifty as well. So it's a little jumper and little joggers, which are handy just for every day. And then I also got her this little dress. Um, and this was six pound fifty. So it's just this pink, but it also comes with like the little pants that cover the nappy, and it also comes with a little hairband too. So that'll be so cute. I love that. And then, lastly, next, I got her a few bits. Um, I got her this. She had this whenever she was wee, and I love this, so I just got it in a bigger size. It's a little set. Comes with a hairband as well. So it's a three-piece set for £13, which I think is very good. For the quality as well. The next quality is just lovely. She also had this when she was wee, so I had to buy it in a bigger size. Love this. This is seven pounds. So cute. These are all twelve to eighteen. I picked her up another wee pair of leggings. Cute. Little floral ones. Little white t-shirt just for leggings. Love this. This is probably my favourite purchase. It's a little t-shirt dress. I love this. She can wear this just as like wee trainers, or I could put leggings underneath it. This was adorable. This was eight pounds. It's so soft. And um, that is it. That is everything. Those are jeans for me. That is everything that I got her. And um, so I'm gonna go and read out her wardrobe now, and throw out all of her stuff that's too small. Well, I'll, I'll put it in the attic. Um, but yeah, she has a lot of clothes there to keep her going for the next six months, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully some of the bits. But yes. Yeah, 